Harvey took everything that I had, that everything I had built up to at that point, all my, all my, you know, material. I know it's material stuff, but still, you know, you work hard and you start to slowly build, um, you know, life, and everything was lost. The rain is not as hard, but it's like a steady rain. And that's when I was like, okay, it's still raining. And I see the water start creeping up. And that's when I was like, okay, we may have a problem. Here at the Pacific Disaster Center, we use science and technology to help reduce disaster risk. What it basically means is that we work on technologies to extend early warning for disasters, as well as we take a look at, through our risk and vulnerability assessment program, we take a look at factors that make the societies more resilient and that can help with better planning as well as guiding strategic investment in risk reduction and mitigation. Our disaster aware system is a collection of data, software, information products. It's used by tens of thousands of disaster managers, elected officials, business executives to monitor hazards, respond to hazards, basically take action to save lives and property. Pacific Disaster Center had been working with ASEAN and specifically its Committee on Disaster Management in the early 2000s. Shortly after our engagement with the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami took place, uh, killing more than 200,000 people. It was that tsunami event, in fact, that provided the impetus for creating the AHA Center, the ASEAN Humanitarian Assistance Center in Jakarta. We worked very closely with ASEAN, its Committee on Disaster Management, to develop a staffing plan and an architecture for the AHA Center. We fielded the Disaster Management Response System, DMRS, one of PDC's earlier versions of Disaster Aware. And we've worked closely with ACDM and AHA Center ever since to upgrade the system, to deliver training, to exercise it annually in their ARDEX exercise. They're a very important partner for us and they allow us to assist hundreds of millions of people in the most disaster prone region of the world. The NDPBA is more than just an assessment. It really is a sustainable system of assessing, understanding, and applying critical risk information for decision making. It's the foundation for which communities can really base investment or focused investment to reduce risk, increase their coping capacity, and really build resiliency. PDC is very excited about this process because we're on track to have 20% of the world complete by 2021. We have a data set and the application of data like nobody else in the world, which is really exciting for us because it means we can start to ask the questions we didn't even know needed to be asked. So the NDPBA really has four key components. First, it starts with stakeholder engagement when we start our risk and vulnerability assessment. We then contextualize the results of the risk and vulnerability assessment with a disaster management analysis. Coming together, we then evaluate that data as a team to understand where we can have the most effect in reducing vulnerability and increasing coping capacity by developing a five-year plan and for promoting investment in the right area. Now the really exciting piece about this is that our stakeholders get every single piece of data and that's something that's really important to me to make sure that this data and information can be used by stakeholders. This really is PDC partnering with these agencies, organizations, and nations to build resilient communities. Pacific Disaster Center works with our partners around the world to customize and deploy national and regional versions of Disaster Aware. In fact, we've done that with countries in Southeast Asia and with the ASEAN Humanitarian Assistance Center. One version called Inaware is used in Indonesia by its national and provincial disaster managers. We've helped BNPB use Inaware recently for volcanic eruptions in Bali, for a series of earthquakes in the neighboring island of Lombok, 
and for the earthquake and tsunami that killed more than 2,000 people in Sulawesi. Here at PDC, we're constantly are looking at improving and enhancing the technologies that would help better understand the hazards and, and their impacts, as well as communicating that information to the audiences. For instance, our mobile disaster alert app came at the forefront of the mobile technology, as well as smart alert is a technology that we have developed to help narrow down basically the number of notifications that might be um, received by an agency so that they're not overwhelmed essentially with uh, too much information. Really our, our goal for the future is to extend the timeline and take disaster management out of the reactive into the proactive world.